What's up guys, today I got something a little different for everyone. I know I'm used to doing uh, sneaker pickups and reviews and like clothing stuff, but I'm also into comics, so I thought, you know, might as well start doing some comic pickups. So today I got, I didn't actually go get comics last week because I had to work a lot, so I got, this is last week's, the 20th and March 27th combined pickups. First things I got were, well, first off, I'm a huge Deadpool fan, I probably got like the one of the biggest Deadpool collections. I got pretty much every ser complete series, every uh, variant from the Way series, almost every mini series. So, the Guardians of the Galaxy came out. I wasn't originally gonna get the Guardians of the Galaxy. Point five issue was cool, but I wasn't really didn't really want to spend money on it. But I saw my shop had the two Deadpool get in line uh, texting variants. So I picked both of these up. Eight, this is eight, and this was thirty. Couldn't really resist. I pretty much have to get every uh, Deadpool variant I can uh, find. It's an addiction. Came with the lithograph, and then they threw in like a trading card thing. I got Deadpool Illustrated. I haven't really been that impressed with the comic. I thought uh, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe was way better, but still the art's cool and it's it's a cool take on like modern stories and stuff like that. So I'm continuing to get that. Of course, Deadpool 6, this is way better than the Way series, way, 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 way better. Way series was super lacking. And then, uh, like I said, I get all the variants and like the second prints, so I got the third printing of issue 2, third printing of issue 1, third printing of uh, issue 3. I got all the first and second prints, I'll get like pretty much every uh, variant I can get. Except for like the 50 or 60 dollar ones, that's kind of ridiculous. So I got those, that's all my Deadpool stuff for this week. Superior Spider-Man, I kind of like it, you know. It's nothing too crazy, but this I saw this one, the Age of Ultron uh, tie-in. I'm not sure if the regular 6, did I miss it, or just I didn't see it or something, but I got that. It's a pretty good comic, a lot of people hate that. Wolverine the X-Men, probably my favorite X-Men comic out right now, it's a super funny comic. Toad, everyone in there, it's super funny. That's always good, one to read. This one, I didn't think I was going to get, Young Avengers, but I like the first two a lot. I'm surprised about the series. I don't know, there's something about it works. That FF, which is done by uh, Mike Allred, did the iZombie. I love his art in iZombie, so I started getting this, and this is also another super funny comic. It's like a light comic, nothing too serious. Check out that one. The art, I don't know, I just, I love Allred's art. It's like, uh, super unique. Look at that. It's kind of like a 50s vibe to it. Check out iZombie too. that was a great series. I got cut short because, uh, DC and Allred had some problems, I think. Thunderbolts. The only reason I'm getting Thunderbolts is because of Deadpool, basically, because Way's horrible. He's a horrible writer. Plain and simple. I don't know why they give him jobs. But Nodo came on, so at least the art's gonna be fucking beautiful. That doesn't look like... There we go, it's some Deadpool art right there. Top-notch artist that you met him at a convention, got to sign some stuff. Beautiful, uh, clean art. Captain America, not a big fan of Captain America. Some of you might hate me, but the guy that's writing it, you see that? Rick Remainder, probably one of the best writers out right now. Came out with Uncanny X-Force, and uh, that blew up, so I guess Marvel's giving him tons of jobs. He's doing Uncanny Avengers, I think he's doing some other things. He's the only reason I'm reading this, and I might drop this soon. I'm just, it's good, but I don't know if it's good for bucks, you know? I don't know if it's really... I'm into it. I can see why a lot of people like it, though. We'll see, I might drop it after the issue. Uncanny Avengers, another reason I'm only getting this, because of that guy. Remainder, best writer out, I personally think. Um, this is another comic I'm not really sure about right now. I'll read this one, see if I drop it or not. But it is a good comic. It's just I'm trying to be more selective since I buy so much of uh, Deadpool variants. It's killing my bank account. What I think is the best Ultimate comics right now. Spider-Man. Bendis, I'm not a big fan of, but he does great work on Ultimate Spider-Man. It's a super uh, good uh, comic coming out right now. Probably the best Spider-Man one out right now since Superior Spider-Man started. And this is pretty much my, uh, my indie comics, I guess you could say. The image kind of comics. I don't know if that's really indie. It's Saga. 
I'm not a big fan of sci-fi or anything like that. I feel like it's all generic, but Saga, Brian K. Vaughn, Staples is blowing it away. It's like, if you don't like sci-fi, you'll still like this comic. If you're like issue one, are going for a crazy amount of money. These issues, they're like super funny. They're kind of raunchy. I love it. It's like perfect. If you're into a funny, great, epic story, you can just tell this is going to be a classic. Gotta pick up Saga. Judge Dredd. I know a lot of people aren't reading this, but uh, ever since the first movie, I know it was kind of bad, but that kind of brings back some memories. I've always been into Judge Dredd, the Sylvester Stallone movie. And I think it's a... I think it's a good comic. I think, like, the backstories ties in a lot. And the, the story in the back. That sounds kind of weird. The backstory, the story in the back. Duh. But, um... Yeah, like, the... It has, like, a main story. And the, I like the art, too. It's kind of weird. The backstory, they always kind of, like, gives up some, uh... More info of the main story. So I like how that always ties in. It always brings me back. It's a clean comic. It is $4, though. But I'm gonna keep getting it. Legend of Luther Strode. Not a lot of people are getting this. I have to special order this one, but I just love the... It's kind of like kick-ass, how uh, grotesque and uh, violent it is. I just love comics like that. It's a cool little story. If you guys are missing out on not having a kick-ass or hit girl anymore, you might want to pick this one up. I don't think the back issues are going for that much. Yeah, and that's my uh, pretty much haul for the week of March 20th and March 27th. It's been a... Uh, a lot of money, but that was two weeks of uh, books right there. All right, now I just want to show you guys a little indie comic that I really like. No one's really talking about it. I don't know if there's a bunch of people reviewing it. CBR doesn't seem to review it, but this is a really super good comic. It just might not be getting a lot of buzz because it's top cow and it's kind of a startup think tank. It's an ongoing series. The writer is uh, Matt Hawkins. And it's uh, basically about some guy that works for a think tank in the government, but it's actually kind of changing his mind what he wants to do with his life. He doesn't really want to help the government build weapons. This is a, it's in black and white. But it's not, it's not like sketchy black and white at first. I was like, black and white, oh, I'm not getting that. But it's not sketchy. It looks clean. And it's basically this guy getting back at, like, the government, the people that control him. He doesn't really want to make weapons for him like, anymore, like I said. And a lot of this stuff is actually real stuff. In the back of the comic, they'll tell you actually some of the stuff he's inventing, this crazy stuff. It's like real life knowledge you're getting from this comic. They'll like tell you what stuff is actually being uh, invented or has has been used by the governments. And I think that's crazy. I like to see all that like espionage and like CIA type like secretive stuff. You're, you'll learn a lot reading these. And also, it's a good funny story. He's it's, it's like a funny character that you kind of like. Kind of screws with everyone in the department. I had to get the back issues. I didn't get it at first, but then I heard about it through a friend. I'm like, yeah, I gotta pick this up. I think they're on issue six right now. Came out with a million dossier. Yeah, but if you guys are into like um, any uh, like secret missions, real life uh, facts and stuff like that, pick up Think Tank. Go review. Go uh, research it. See what it's all about. You might really like this comic. And uh, that's pretty much my pickups and my little think tank uh, featurette. And uh, all right, guys, I'm, I'm probably gonna do some more comic reviews next week. I'll also do shoe reviews and like and uh, clothing reviews, skateboarding stuff. All right, uh, thanks for watching, guys.